Okay, so now it gets a little more tricky. So for the right hand, you'll first play this again. Okay, just exactly the same as before. But for the left hand, the chords will change. You'll start again on this B chord. Just play those three notes. And now you will jump to another chord. You will jump up to D, A, D. Okay, again, I just call this chord D in the notes as well because it's just easier to remember. You just start on this D, play this D one octave higher, and a note in the middle where your index finger lies. Or maybe with your middle finger, depending on how you play it. D, A, D. Okay, and you also just play three notes. Now the third chord is going to be G, but play differently. You won't play G, D, and then jump up to this B, but you will play G, D, G, and then you will add A, B up here, okay? So again, B, D, and G. Now you can play this G chord by lifting your finger over your thumb and then playing A with your index finger and B with your thumb. Or you can lift your middle finger above your thumb play those two like this and I actually even play it like that I don't know if it's the correct way to play it I just like it that way and then what you're gonna do is you'll play this D chord one octave lower down here and also you will not play three notes but you will add E and F sharp after it, okay? And you will play this chord down here twice. Now, this is going to be just like this bridge only your right hand is not going to play C sharp, D, F sharp it's just going to play one single D while your left hand is playing this chord down here. Okay. You can also play it like this. But then you just have to jump down really far. You have to jump from here down to this D. Okay, so it's more handy to play it with your right hand. That's why this D is written in the top line of the notes. So again, B, D, G, and D. Okay, and you combine it the same way again with the right hand. For the first two chords, that's no problem. Gonna sound like this. D. By the way, you play this D with both your left and right hand, like this. So when you reach this D with the right hand, you gotta let it go with your left hand. Okay? And then you play this G chord and just play note by note. So this B, you hold this for two notes on the right hand and then you will jump down to the final chord. So like this.
When you reach this final note, you go down to this D chord. So again. Okay, and the same trickiness applies to the next thing you play. Again, the right hand is going to play the same as before. Alright, you played this before as well. And your left hand is going to play the following chords. Again, you start with the B chord. Just play three notes. Now a tricky chord comes. You will play F sharp, okay? You start on this F sharp down here, play F sharp, C, and then you jump up to A, B, C sharp, like this. So I play this A with my thumb, then this B with my middle finger, and C sharp with my index finger. But you can also play it with index finger and thumb again. Just the way you prefer it. Okay, and after this F sharp chord, you will jump up to A. Okay, and you will just play three notes. A, E, and B up here. Okay? And then you end by playing this bridge again. As you see, you will need this a lot. Okay, so again, B, just three notes, F sharp, five notes, and A, three notes again and then again and again you apply it the same way now this is tricky okay I practice this a lot In the end, you basically end up with left and right hand right next to each other. Okay, once more. Okay, then A, and you play the same thing as before, you already learned that. Now the reason why I call these chords just B, F sharp and A is because you have barely any time to look at where you have to jump when you play. After you've played this F sharp chord, you basically already have to play the next one. And I just look at the very first note. So I go from F sharp to A. And then the rest is obvious because on this A, you always play this. B up here and this E. That's what you would usually play if you play A E A. You just add this B up here. Okay. So you have to be very quick. So instead of remembering A E B, just remember A. Okay. So you can put in some structure in that song and remember it by heart. Okay, so let's listen to that again.
Okay, don't worry, you can occupy yourself with this a long time. It took me a while to play the right hand with this chord and then master this jump to A right away and continue with the right hand. Okay, so don't worry if this is feels really tricky to you. It was the same way for me. Okay, I'll play all of that again in, let's say, medium speed. I'll start after the intro. Okay, that was it for part two. All right, let's hear what we're gonna learn in the next part.